for a hip 90-90 or shin box external rotation passive stretch, we are going to focus on the lead leg of a shin box position. So as I come into either a shin box, right, which would be here, or a 90-90 position, which would come out 90 degrees on both uh, knees and hips, I'm focusing on this leg here. Now on this one, we want to think kind of like pigeon stretch, right? If we're familiar with pigeon pose in yoga, a lot of people don't have the prerequisite mobility to actually get there. This is a good way to do it without needing as much hip extension on this back leg. So as I rotate my chest over my knee, thinking Iron Man tall chest, tall through the head. We don't, I can fold over here too, right? That's great. But I don't get as much of a stretch when I do that. I want to sit up. We're gonna go bowing into the stretch, so I'm sitting back into my hip, like I'm sticking my butt out behind me, and I'm sitting my chest forward in my external rotation. So we're stretching passively all everything on this outside of the hip that will externally rotate. So chest tall, reach forward, sit the butt back, hold the passive stretch, okay? The time will be dictated, but we're really focusing on this front leg hip. Again, external rotation emphasis. I don't really care how far you can come over. I care that we can sit through the chest, sit back through the hips, come forward over the top, and get the stretch in the outside of the hip, not just go as far as we can. For the hip 90-90 or shin box external rotation passive stretch on the front leg.